Hi everyone, today is a very exciting day for me because I finally decided to move from a Star Trekkers League to a full blown go to Equatorial Mounts League. I just got delivered my IOPTRON CEM26 and uh, I've decided to make this unboxing video. First time I'm making an unboxing video basically. So let's do that. First thing I'm going to open is the, what I believe is a tripod. Yes, it is indeed a tripod. I like how compact it is, much smaller than my Eco 6 tripod. So this is basically a tripod. Let's put it aside for now. And uh, I will unpack the main box with the mount. So this is uh, uh, the version, the most basic version of CEM26 without encoders, without, I believe, even the case because uh, it was the only available on the store and the thing is that now there is a shortage of, uh, of good equatorial mounts uh, from the um, like a lower like a middle range mounts like uh, HEQ5 uh, from the Skywatcher, and uh, it was. I've been waiting for those mounts to appear in stock for several months, and once I saw them, I decided that it is a good time to buy because who knows for how long they are going to be out of stock for how many months more. Okay, so what we got here? We got here a quick start guide. There's an invoice. So here we have our shelf for our eyepiece and for sturdiness of a tripod. This is the counterweight shaft. This is the USB type B cable, small battery, I don't know for what yet. Okay, here is the here is the best part is the mount itself. Just look at it. I've already lost some part. So there is a lock. Yeah, so uh, there is also a version uh, called uh, GEM28, I believe. So it's basically the same mount but in a more classical German equatorial mount design and uh, I've decided to try this one because 
I just wanted to to have something different from what I had before and uh, yeah from what I read uh, there is not a lot of differences and uh, there is a marketing uh, saying from the IOTRON that this design allows more of a weight of a capacity but uh, people actually uh, regular people can't confirm it or say that it's wrong or not okay here we have more cables I like that they provide already a cable from the for the power outlet and um, adapter and uh, uh, because I wanted to use one of the ones I have so here we have a remote so this is the remote here we have a counterweight pretty heavy actually more cables this is the mini USB cable for uh, for their electronic polar scope which I probably not gonna use because I'm using it with a uh, Ace Air Pro which has its own uh, polar alignment technology so this is the little cable for connecting declination axis and motor to the main part of the mount and this one is for for the remote so let's put it on, on the tripod and see how it looks assembled Well, this is a very sophisticated mechanism for attaching the counterweight shaft. For the testing purposes, I'm going to use my current white field setup, but uh, more things are yet to come. So, I finally managed to assemble all my stuff here. And uh, yeah, I had uh, difficulties balancing this thing because uh, the counterweight which I had uh, coming with the mount, it's too heavy for this load. But uh, yeah, don't worry because soon I will upgrade this part too so it will be heavy enough for that counterweight for sure. Uh, what I liked here is that uh, mount has the DC power output so I can connect my ASIR Pro directly to it so it uh, improves cable management uh, I need the only wire coming here from the uh, battery or from the power outlet uh, I was fighting for a while uh, to be able to connect the mount to ASIR Pro using the Wi-Fi connection but uh, I didn't have a lot of success I will keep trying to do that and for now I had to connect it with a USB cable directly to the hand controller and uh, yeah it already works pretty fine so now let me demonstrate how I can control the mount using the ASIR Pro So you see it's very quiet from what I can tell, yeah now it's trying to validate, uh, it's not gonna do it, but yeah it's very quiet and I liked it a lot already, I'm sure it will improve my astrophotography game and uh, yeah stay tuned for more updates and see you soon.